My name is Jason Webster. I'm Beck Hybrid, Central Illinois Practical Farm Research Director. Today we're at Farm Progress Show in Decatur, Illinois, and behind me we have one of the projects that we've been working on at Beck Hybrids, and it involves variable hybrid corn planting. Uh, we decided to, to, to venture into testing variable hybrid corn planting because I find it difficult to choose that one or two corn hybrids for my farm each and every year because our soil types vary so much. If I was only farming one soil type in my whole farming operation, it'd be easy to choose a corn hybrid, but I've got such a, a variety of soil types and all of them have different production levels. And so it makes it hard to choose a corn hybrid. What we wanted to do was develop a corn planter that could actually change hybrids on the fly automatically based on the management zones or the uh, productivity levels uh, on our farms. And that's exactly what we've done. We've taken a Kinsey uh, planter here and we've retrofitted this planter to do just that. It's an automated planter, changing hybrids automatically on the fly as we travel through the field. We'll set this planter up with two hybrids right now. We set up with an offensive hybrid that's going to be positioned for our better soils on the farm. And those are, that, that hybrid will be loaded up in the back compartments of this planter. And the front compartment will load up what we call a defensive hybrid. And this is going to be geared for some of those lighter soils that we have on the farm, some of the lower, low, lower productivity soils that we have on the farm. So I can toggle back and forth from offensive to defensive hybrid throughout the field. We'll also vary the, the population or the seeding rate based on production zones as well. There's no reason why we can't do both, both variable hybrid planting and variable, variable rate seeding all in one package. So this has been a, a project that's been ongoing for almost uh, over two years now. We've got two spring seasons under our belt with variable hybrid planting. We've got uh, three variable hybrid planters that we've got working right now and we hope those numbers of planters to increase um, for the short term. And I say short term because these planters are designed, we, we started the project for two goals. One is to obviously do variable hybrid planting and help growers uh, precision place corn hybrids on their farm, choosing the right hybrid for every acre. The other goal was we wanted equipment companies to see this planter and hopefully they'll start marketing this on a commercial basis so our growers can get access to it. So. I work with Bex Hybrids, we're a seed company. We're not an equipment company. We don't want to be making planters like this, but we were forced to bring this planter out to show people the advantages of variable hybrid planting. One of the big questions we're getting from growers right now is what's going to happen with this technology as we go forward? So, uh, and, and that's a great question. We've, we've been working on this for two years. This will be our second year of yield data on this. And as we go forward, will this, this, this planter be available commercially? Yes, it will. How soon, I don't know. How soon, I don't know. It's just gonna be all up to the planter manufacturers, the, the, the planter equipment companies, to see when they can come out with equipment like this. But it's simply a race to the finish line, in my opinion. Not only will we be continuing to do the testing, showing people the value of variable hybrid planting, placing the right corn hybrid on every single acre, then the planter equipment companies will be working on this in the background, and we'll be making planters right off the assembly line, and they'll be available for growers. Expect it to be available probably, probably within two years. This video is brought to you by Farms.com.